Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Uh, today we are doing a flip through video. I'm realizing somehow, like, I have four fingernails that have been trimmed and six that have not. Um, anyway, don't worry about that. I'm not. <laughs> uh, we are flipping through the exact same planner that I flip through every single month, but you guys seem to love it. And I love how easy it is to film. There's sort of a little, like, stain here, and I don't know, um, if it's something that I can wash off or not, because I have, I keep forgetting to try, because I never look at the back of my planner. This is a Filofax Malden uh, Ochre Pocket, and I love it. Um, I have mentioned that I've been thinking about moving back into the Motrim for a while, um, and I probably will at some point if I ever get around to remembering when I'm not filming. <laughs> I do love how squishy this is, though in the back pocket but I uh, recently moved all of the stickers out of here and into the new sticker binder just so that I could like start from the beginning with everything in there so it's actually emptier than usual um in the back pocket here I have my birth plan which I just put together it's just like the check boxes from the hospital some cash that's new I work near 7-eleven now so sometimes I will go to the ATM what a couple of receipts some coupons, some blank checks, that kind of thing, because this is also my wallet, but the uh, card insert that I take out before flip throughs. Um, the front has like my card, my washi card that I use to cut washi, um, library card, gas card, uh, insurance information and stuff in the back here. And then I have some coins in the front actually. It's, it's just crazy for me because I haven't carried cash in like two years and now suddenly I am. And then there's a some stamps a couple of stamps useful and then I keep my pilot g2 the 0.38 size and the front rings here um, I've said this before but the 0.5 size skips and takes forever to dry I love the 0.38 though oh no not the 0.5 the 0.7 I don't know why fine point pens are just not available in the US but I'm pretty sure that this is like Japanese import you know Anyway, let's go ahead and just flip from front to back. Uh, these plastic tabs are from Marlene's Plan to Create on Etsy. Um, and I'm just going to take a quick sip of water. I just keep something with a little bit of washi tape or whatever behind the wording here so that it pops a little bit. This is folded over on itself. This is my inbox. So if I just kind of need somewhere to jot something down, it'll be here and then I'll migrate it later. Um, this is the previous inbox and there's still some things in here that I may or may not need. I haven't migrated at all yet, so it's still in here. I redid my sort of running to-do list. Uh, this is general items and then this is like Genshi items. Um, and so it's very empty, which is always, it feels good to just like get rid of all the done stuff and reset your to-do list with only things that need to be done. Um, this is a waiting on list. It has been in here forever. It's not full yet. And then this guy, um, is the 52 weeks future log, dated future log, uh, it's insert 52 on my shop. Um, and so it has the months running into each other. So it shows you just the 52 weeks of the year. I use this for like project planning, um, as in like scheduling, project scheduling. So for this week, uh, when I'm filming this, I am working on our tax return and organizing the closets in my room and the kids' room. Um, because I was realizing just the other day that I don't have anywhere to put the baby's clothes. Not that we have any yet. Um, yeah, pregnancy sneak up on you and it's not your first. Anyway, so that's what I'm using this for. These, uh, highlighted weeks are when I'm on maternity leave. So, um, it's also sort of a countdown <laughs> to that. These are some inserts from Peanuts Planner Co., a goal planning insert, um, which I use for small little projects. Um, some of these are kind of done. This one's not, um, this one is sort of for the future, but yeah, just a place to keep like information about short projects so that it doesn't take like a whole project page. Uh, this front section is kind of like to-do lists and project pages anyway. Um, someday maybe list, honey-do list, current craft projects. This probably should just be remade and then decided upon because I just don't really work on these as much as I should or at all. Um, then we get to the top tabs. There are three top tabs for month, week, year, or sorry, month, week, day. 
So I've got my monthly setup here, which I planned on camera. Um, so far, I am using the tracker. I have made a point of filling it out, <laughs> at least backfilling it. I've, I only like skipped maybe one day and then went and was able to backfill. So I'm just tracking like, ooh, symptoms. Like right now, I just got a little bit of round ligament pain. Twinge, I moved in the wrong way at the wrong time. So I will mark that because I haven't had any of that. As you can see, um, the darker color is good, right? So if it's dark pink, that means that I haven't had any pain. And uh, today would be, I guess, if it happens again, it might go down to a level one. But right now it's all side two. Okay. Yeah, it's taken a while to go away. I am 32 weeks now, I think. Um, and yeah, so I am, because of this, I'm turning to this page more frequently for the tracker. Um, as long as I remember to come back to the tracker, then I will be checking in with my monthly more often, which is good. So there you go. This is the future log, like actual future log, future log. Um, and yeah, I went through this recently and like added all this stuff to my Google calendar also, just cause I kind of like the, um, I like my Google to know where I'm supposed to be so that it can tell me when to leave. Um, I've highlighted some of my maternity leave, but not all of it because I don't know how long exactly it will last based on due date and all of that or delivery date. Um, so that's that, but I have, you know, stuff on here I've been using. Maybe. Then this is the far future. Oh, this is the, where May oh, ran over. Like I, I used up all of May's, um, section here. So there's room for more tasks here. If you don't have room in the box next to each month. Uh, the far future log here is where I was keeping track of car seat expiration dates mostly. Um, and then I actually put all of this in a spreadsheet on my computer or in my Google Docs. So I'd be able to like find it all in one place along with information on like how many pounds for, you know, rear facing capacity and all of that. I just figured out how to get a third car seat into the back of our cars so we don't have to buy a minivan which is great, and I'm just kind of going down a little bit of a like car seat rabbit hole, learn some new things. Um, definitely recommend the car seat lady if you don't already. Um, these uh, folded up here are school calendars. Um, there's one for preschool, one for the school at large. Um, and so I pull those out, um, you know, like unfold them when I'm doing my monthly planning, but I don't do that on camera because, you know, it's none of your business. Uh, recurring tasks. These, this whole front page is already filled up and the back page is currently empty. I'm mostly using this one instead. It's a bit chaotic, um, because some of these dates like are projected to do dates and others are last time done. So yeah, but I'm remembering them. Okay. As is and having a last time done thing is also useful. So um, there you go. Library books. These are, I recently checked out some new ones on a new page. And so there you go. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about this in a couple of weeks. Um, I had a pup scare and managed to beat it. So I will be telling you all about that. If you followed my pregnancy saga last time, I got pups real bad, but fortunately this time it was only like a week. Um, these are birthdays and anniversaries. It's evergreen because it gives just the year instead of the age. Then we've got weeks. So this cutie, I was like post, uh, putting, printing a little picture of one of my girls, uh, in the front of the section because you can see it through. Yeah. Um, this one had a lot of bleeding. I don't know if I, maybe this is, yeah, this isn't the best paper. I have two different kinds of paper and I don't always check which one's in the printer before I print. So this is the last week of February. So that's the color scheme that I was with. And I just, because I had only just switched to this one and this is the, um, the week that I planned on camera. I, uh, just, you know, left that one week and then this is last week. Um, so it's just back to back to it. So we're in the purple color scheme now and it worked really well. Um, I feel like I'm getting into it better, like understanding how this works real well. So this is the current week. And then next week I already have in here clipped to the page, this little uh, freebie sampler that came with my most recent order from Mad Hatter stickers. Um, 
uh, it's a little, you know, St. Patrick's Day freebie. So I'm going to go ahead and do this a different color scheme for next week. That's going to be next week's video and actually the next thing I film. So um, that will be fun to switch to a different color scheme because like there's actually a lot of stuff and like, I don't know about stuff happening, but like days that are important. So um, I will be looking forward to using some stickers and making it fun. And then we've got, you know, the rest of the weeks of this month. And then these are, <laughs> there's just one extra front and back here because, you know, it needs somewhere to put it. That way I don't lose it or have to go into my storage and like find out whether or not I've printed them. It fits, so it works. Next tab is dailies. Um, so I have like some that I was using, I made some lists for this last weekend because I had to kind of, I wanted to do some garden stuff and I wanted to do some closet organization stuff. So I just kind of put it on here on this two days per page, um, which is insert 46. And then I was like running out of inserts. So I just stuck in what I already had printed, which is insert 22 with the hourly time ladder there. It's just whatever I had printed out. Um, there's some more of these like specialty daily ones. Oh, here's the weekend. So I just kind of have these in here um, and I can pull whichever one I want to use towards the front and use them as I need. This is a freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I don't use a daily every single day or like today I'm using a Peanuts Planner Co. Uh, sticky note um, so I can have it on my desk instead of inside and flip around. I don't know. I do whatever the spirit moves me to do for my dailies and it works. Then the next tab is content planning. This is my schedule for the next month and I was been planning it ahead because my maternity leave is starting and I want to give myself a break. So I'm going to start filming some extra stuff in advance. Um, and I have these content calendars printed out through August just because, you know, I've got to print multiples at once on a piece of paper. Um, then the next section is pregnancy stuff, which is getting a little bit, again, kind of chaotic. It's a pretty thick section um, with a lot of stuff in it because I just keep adding a smaller side projects to this pregnancy as it were. So I've got uh, in the front here, one of these little notepad uh, inserts, this is insert 70. Um, so these are the vitamins and meds that I'm taking. They keep getting added to. I have an old lady pill case, which was working great for me. Um, then this is my plan for reorganizing the kids clothes storage and closet organization. Then there's some things that are clipped together here because, uh, let's see, so this is the, the week's pregnant calendar, like how many weeks I am on any given day. Um, so that I'm, I reference quite frequently and then it's clipped to like upcoming appointments and questions for the doctor that I didn't want to show you. Then I have these, uh, page per week guys. Um, so I've been, you know, putting a couple of notes here. Um, and it's just nice to know that like this week I am, uh, your baby is the size of a jicama and definitely feeling every ounce of it. Then we've got um, monthly to-do lists. As you see, they were pretty sparse for a while and now they are starting to get a little bit more full. I am here moving into month eight and we have several things. It's starting to feel more urgent. <laughs> so I have, uh, I'm adding more things to the list and getting more of those things actually done, which is fantastic. I think I'm reaching the, um, I, I never had the high energy second trimester phase because we were sick for all of the winter, but now I'm finally getting that like burst of nesting energy phase. So that's good because I'm getting some stuff done like the car seats, for example, or the, cl the closets. Um, and then there's also postpartum stuff. I packed most of my hospital bag. Um, there's still a couple of things that need to be checked off. And then kit counts. I've been doing these uh, sporadically. There's a little number on the side here every time I take over a new week. Uh, and as you can see, lately I've only been doing it like once a week. I have a reminder on my phone. So at least I remember to be sort of aware of it. And I only will ignore that reminder if I have definitely been feeling him wiggly. I just didn't like sit down and actually time how many minutes it takes to get to 10. Um, so some days I do sit down and do that. On days where he's very, very wiggly, it's like a minute or two. 
um, on days where I'm not paying as much attention. I think, yeah, 30 was how long it took. But um, yeah, like I did it yesterday and I'll try to do it again because, you know, it just feels like something I should be doing. So I have all of these printed out in here because I guess they fit. Then I have a list here of some uh, like at home prep for labor type things like eating dates and drinking red raspberry leaf tea. And just, uh, I, I sat down and like did a little bit of Googling to make sure like when is it safe to start all these different things. So starting at like 34 weeks, I can have the tea. That should be fine. 36 weeks when I can start the dates. Um, yeah, 37, 39, 38, 39. Things that like I don't want to do too soon because I don't want to actually induce premature labor, but things that can kind of prep uh, things. Like they say dates are good for your cervix and all that. These notes were a, the um, the dietary things that I was doing to try to keep my pups at bay, and it worked. It, it went away. And again, I will be posting a video about that. This is a sort of log of symptoms. So I'm definitely hanging on to this so that I know it worked um, in case it comes back. But like I said, that video is like, I think in two weeks or maybe three. Uh, let's see, the next section here has like some essential oil rollers that I was making. And then I've clipped the next section together because that's tax information. Because I'm working on my tax return. Then we've got uh, meal planning. I I basically just jot down like what I'm getting ingredients for when I get them. Um, and that way we know. My husband's doing more of the cooking now since um, uh, he is looking for a job and I am working farther away from home like two or three days a week. So he's doing a lot more of the cooking. And so I have been putting this list up on our family calendar as well so that he has access to it. And that has been like the primary list now. So using this a little bit less or relying on it a little bit less, but I still have it in here. Um, still find it very useful. This is gift ideas and like things that are stashed in the closet to be used as gifts. Um, I could probably remake this because a lot of these have actually been given away. Then uh, this is my personal wish list. I also have this on like my... Um, What's it called? Like Amazon. I have an Amazon wish list that I use for myself too whenever I have a little bit of funny money. Um, this is my shows to watch thing. I just never feel like watching any of the shows on my to-do list. It's like your, I don't know, TBW, right? I'm not a reader, so I don't really have a to-be-read list or, or stack. But what I have is like, I really want to rewatch the MCU. And then I got like this far into it and then um, haven't finished, so. Most weeks, I just watch a lot of YouTube. Then the last section is just like spare pages. We have a couple more of these notepads. I need to print more because they've been great. I've been using them instead of sticky notes. Um, then I do have other sticky notes. These are from Peanuts Planner called these marble ones. This is the daily that I'm using today. There's a little checklist one. Just some spare grid pages. This is a... I think this is an appointment log one. Uh, she sent these for free with my last order that included sticky notes. So I um, haven't used them for anything yet and maybe shouldn't be carrying them around with me if I don't know what I would use them for. Uh, then I have two column pages, which when they feel like something that's useful, they're useful. I've been using these for like packing lists and stuff, things that it basically just doubles my page length. Um, because a lot of the things on my lists generally don't take up a full line, so I just have extra space. This is a grid page here, and then these ones are actual post-its. And then these are spare um, stickies for the um, index card, or what's it called? Yeah, tab index. This shows me what's behind each tab in my planner, especially useful when I move things around um, so that I don't get lost. And I remember what's in every section and then um, it actually fits nicely on a sticky note so that I can um, rotate these more often without having to remake the entire index. So that's also available as insert 57 from the shop. And uh, that is basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that flip through. 
Um, you can check out most of these inserts, except for the ones that I mentioned were from Peanuts Planner Co. The rest are from my shop at ganjiplans.com slash shop. So you can check those out. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Thursday about my whole planner system. So next week's going to be that flip through. And then also if you are interested at all in the pups video coming out, um, let your friends know if you know anybody who has dealt with it or who is um, at risk, I guess. And that uh, will be coming out soon. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.